tonight I have been planning an M20 with 1.5 pitch thread because I have a tap for it. Now, you may wonder why am I talking about an M20 with 1.5 thread? Well, this is the answer. I am going to make this, I think it's 38, 375, bung. Because the aluminium is not strong enough or thick enough to take it. On the original gearbox, this being the gearbox housing, on the original gearbox down the back here, it has a boss cast into it which is a lot thicker. Well, it's not a lot thicker, it is 7mm, I think. Yeah, 7mm thicker. Right there. So, I am making a steel insert. There will be this coney shaped thing here with the 375 bore in the centre, cut down to 20 millimetres from the stock's cleaned up size. So here is the stock. Once I've cleaned it up, I might just leave it as it is because it's, it's quite nice. Um, that is going to be the, the, the maximum diameter, basically. So I'll make this first piece. That'll be 7mm, I've just read that now, that uh, the front section will be 7mm. This will be way too long for a start. Then I will make the threads on that. Then I will make the nut. So I'll, I'll part that off. Then I will make the nut, bore it out to the core diameter, 18.4. Tap some threads into that pop that off. Then I will get a bit of the cut off aluminium from the aluminium plate. I will drill it for the core diameter 18.5, 18.6 millimeters and I will trap it in between the nut and that flange. Then I'll put that malarkey inside the lathe and I will face it down so when the nut tightens up it is flush. It looks very good. This could be exciting. Put some safety glasses on because there's bound to be something happening. This is me faffing around like a divo.
I think we'll all agree that's cleaned up. Let's have a look at it. See if we can grab it the other way. Sweet. Alright. Let's get it in there. So I prefer it to be a little bit off to be fair, but... I don't want to grab it too hard. And to be fair, that will do. I could just put a boring bar in. I'm going to come in and take that off now. I might just do that. Just come in and like trapan, put my trapan tool in and trapan it off. That would be sweetness. Uh, what kind of boring tool should I put in that? Gin. Let's see how drastic this is. Uh, yeah, it's going backwards, stupid. Need it backwards. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> We're all gonna give it a rest. We're gonna give it a rest and I will think about it. It just did that. Which if we had carried on, it took a bit too big of a bite, didn't I? I started pushing it in too quickly. Silly, silly is I forgot to turn you on. I was all good intentions, but it didn't happen. So what I did was I didn't have the tool at this angle, I had the tool at another angle. It was pointing in this direction. So, oh, right, it was pointing in that direction. So I used this sharp edge here to basically trip pan in the center. Then I suddenly realised I haven't turned the camera on. Stupid boy. So I'm on the lock stop now, that's how much closer the tool was when it was turned at that angle. Anyhow. We're coming in at a new angle now, so we need the tool at a different angle. So that is right on it. So like last time, we'll just push it off about a thou or two. So now it's not touching the chuck at all. Right, so we clean it up. I just pushed a bear on the front, so I just took that off. Well, there we go. And then I'm going to try and stick this 13 mil drill through, and uh, it might grab and rip it out, but it's worth a worth a laugh. Let's give it a go. Something else for and out, nothing on this. That's probably going to be razor sharp, is it? Probably. So I've got a hole through, I've seen it's dropped on the floor, I don't know what it was. Oh, it's an Allen key. Yeah. The Allen keys for adjusting things, I'll keep her nice and handy. Anyhow, enough of that malarkey. That hole has got to be increased in size now. The hole has got to be 20 millimetres, so let's just bring the carriage right away a little bit and have a bit of a measure. Well above 20 millimetres, at the moment we are at well, that hole, that 13 mil drill, drilled the aluminium at 13.02. It's pretty close that isn't it? 13 mil is 511. Okay, 511, and we need to come out to 20. So about 2020. 
511 to 795. So that's 274 gotta come out. 274. Yeah, don't worry about the burrs on the outside. Just looking for that width. So let's check that out. Ain't got to look pretty, it's just got to do the job. And these, this flappy burr on the outside, I'm not really bothered about as long as it doesn't interfere with the work that I'm doing with it. Yeah, we've still got the two original surfaces, that's all I'm bothered about. Right. Definitely down on the centre height, that is. Just rubbing. Rubbing and pushing a burr. So I'll try that again. I believe I've got a cutting edge right at the front now, but I might not have. Just a bit of the front. They've probably burnt it up already. <laughs> to be fair. But it was a cutting edge, it wasn't a burring edge. Although it might have been a burring edge. Now we'll try facing that off again then, shall we? Push the burr the opposite way. Still, we might be able to get a better surface finish now. Try a bit more of a curvature on it. More of a attack angle. More speed. No, that's not bad. Move with the tail stock and let's put a centre drill in that. die for this. So this is the tap, tap and I'm going to need to go in a certain amount of depth to get threads to the full extent and I'm going to use this bit where I can't get threads in for parting off and I'm guessing I want this nut to be looking down the back of the lathe as short as possible. I really think this nut ought to be on the inside, so it really needs to be 7 mil. Eighteen point four one, eighteen point four four. Yep. Is it hot? No, not particularly. Got a burr? Yeah, a little bit. You want a bit of a leading chamfer for that, maybe? Mm. 
Ah, slipping. So, I don't know how I'm going to top this out now because that is slipping. I mean, clearly, you can see the tap is not the sharpest on the planet. I might put a diamond burrow down the side of it and see if I can sharpen the edges up. So I've got the gearbox off the back of the lathe and fortunately you don't have to dismantle everything to get it off. You just pull the banjo forwards off of its bush, let it drop down and then you can wangle the gearbox off as long as you take the top gear off. So that makes dismantling it a lot easier because you don't have to take the whole lot to pieces. And I've got the bits and bobs here. And I've got a little piece of steel chucked up because here is the gearbox that I'm making and I have marked in four bits and bobs done some calculations on the thickness of this plate and the thickness of the other so I've got to make a spacer for this it's going to be 278 thousandths thick. I've got a reamer for the dowels. I'll show you them. The toolbox now. There's a dowel just here and a dowel just here. So, what I've decided to do, I'm making transfer punches. I'm making a transfer punch for that and one for the three bolt holes and then another one for the two reamed. Dowel pins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the two dowel pin holes first and ream them. Then I'm going to knock that dowel. Well, I might leave that dowel pin in and just stick it into the other one. Make another dowel pin for that. And dowel the two plates together. Then use my transfer punch to transfer punch the other three holes for the bolt holes and that one. Then drill those and then make that little spacer plate out of steel. I think I'm going to make it out of now. And then bolt it through from the back side. So I'll make it about that wide and then I'll put bolts in from the other side, thread it in and put the hole with the transfer punch through the steel as well. So I'll bolt the transfer punch and blah blah blah. So we're back on the other plate. So I'll put the steel on here, I'll mount it. I'm going to drill two more holes, one at the top here, or probably three. One, two, three. Drill and tap the steel plate drill the clearance holes in the aluminium, bolt the plate on, use the transfer punch I used to make this hole, although you can see a punch hole there, I'm not going to use that one, I'm going to use the one that uses the transfer punch. Blah blah blah. So when it's bolted on, through from the back with the transfer punch and, poof, and then we'll do the steel and bolt it back on again and that should all line up then. And then I'll have them faff around. So I'm going to do the faffing around beforehand and fingers crossed when that's done there'll be no elongating of holes because I'll go through the process this is the clearance drill for that hole it's perfect so I bought a set of Morse tape uh, drills rusty ones ages ago and well that's the one 9.6 mil I think it says on it no it isn't this one isn't 9.6 mil this is a fractional I don't know it says some Gump on it, I can't make it out.
Right, oh, there we go, nice little transfer punch. I think it's a bit sharp. It's certainly very dangerous as it is. It's obviously only a one time effort. So that's a nice sharp was I think I'm gonna blunt it a little bit because at the end of the day it's too sharp. <laughs> right, so I have the pin punches. This one's a bit difficult to get out, we'll leave it in there. This one's a nice fit. Give you an idea of what they look like. And that's sticking out the other side. This one's a bit tighter. There you go. Same kind of thing. Drops in that one. Doesn't even mess around in that one. Tighten that one. And tighten this one. This was the one that was... It was only held on by one bolt when I got it. And that must have been the bolt that it was held on by. I couldn't remember which one it was, but it's definitely been wallowed out. So it's definitely that one. So, there we go, all lined up. And pinned it together. I'd say they're probably one or two fell out. That's why it's holding together and not just slipping off. But saying that, that top pin, it's too big for the holes. It doesn't fit in that bottom hole. That bottom hole must be half a tenth smaller than that top hole because that pin does not fit into that hole that pin fits in both holes so i'm making this steel plate i need it 40 mil wide and as long as possible so i'm thinking that piece of steel there will go like that but it's a bit wonky there she is the little 10 ton press she's under pressure at the moment let's see how much deflection we get Almost flat now. So we're at the clock, and I've got the fly cutter in. And this is that piece of manky metal which I just put in the hydraulic press and straightened up. I have squared up both the edges, not to each other, but they're they're parallel to each other in this plane, but they are can't hit that at the moment, that doesn't matter because they're parallel to each other I have fly cut the bottom surface I just thought, well you know, I'm fly cutting the top surface you might not believe that it was the piece of manky metal but it's like a cheese block, I don't know if you can see that the fly cutter's only cutting there at the moment that's uh, 1.8 millimetres of depth of cut so far to get to that Right, here we go, this is another 0.3 millimetres because it's getting quite big now. Right, I'm just going to check that now before I go any, any further. 259 is me, uh, 259 thousandths is me target size. I think that is here, hopefully. I've already got it down to 259 thousandths, so I'm not going to go for complete clean up. On the other side, where this deep cut is, it isn't quite cleaned up. There's like a, about that much left. The other side's completely clear apart from just a little bit like that. I thought, you know what, we'll stop there just in case. And I think the just in case is just right. But we'll see. I might have to curvature the edges a little bit to hide the fact that the material wasn't thick enough, but it'll be right. I document this. I have just 
sharpened with a diamond hone misswatting drill. This is a rusty one I found on the floor and I've cleaned it up. And this is a 3.2mm drill just going straight in with it, so let's see what happens. Doesn't look that bad. The only problem we're having is that is the full travel. <laughs> That's the full travel. Hmm. Maybe we'll try that again. So I've had to lift the head right up to be able to get this in. Obviously a bit of an angle to get it in, but then the 3.2 is a little bit too short for the travel of the mill. Right, so I've done what all sensible people would do, I've just stuck the drill out further. Sweet, first hole. The first hole is drilled. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in there and see if it's all the way through. There! Unfortunately, it wouldn't focus on it, but you saw the hole. <laughs> and yeah, it's come through. Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> it's broke through but it hasn't pushed the tit off the end if you know what I mean. Okay, so I decided doing all that faffing around with the drill was stupid. So I've just drilled the four holes using coordinates. Here we go, this is what I do. So that is sorted, that hole will do. What I need to do first is take out all the backlash. So I'm going to force the wheel that way until I feel the pressure come on. Re zero. So zero done out. Then I'm going to unlock the carriage. This is two millimeters per revolution. So I want 44 turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, and forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, for
have checked that, but that's worked out great. Now I could put it into jog function. I think we've got a jog function here. Is it uh, display you press? Try some power tapping. <laughs> Right, so what I've done here is uh, I'll take it off. So it's nice and lined up now. I have drilled and countersunk a machine screw. It's only a Phillips drive, as you can see, it's covering up the actual hole. After I've got all of these machine screws in, I will use my transfer punch, whack it in the hole and then just whack it into that piece of steel and take the steel off and drill it slightly oversized. Press record, we might get somewhere, so <laughs> I'm at the old Winmax drill press here, it's got a little adjuster on the side, you undo this tab here and this section with the scale on rotates. So what I did to do the first hole, we started off just touching and I gave it a millimetre and I gave it another millimetre, quarter of a millimetre and then I just fine tweaked it until the machine screw, which is here, was below surface. So now I can just take the next one in, spray it with some lubricant and plunge straight in, just debare it and that should be perfect. Okay, the plate is fitted and it's fitted in 90 degrees to the base. I know this hole cut out isn't perfectly square, but when all the gears are on everything and you'll just see a glimpse of this, this will look perfectly square to the casing at the bottom here, if you see it at all. I've just got a hole to pop in this now, and then this is usable. I can just slip this on a lathe and put all the big gears on and cut metric and coarser. Um, imperial gears and finer if I want to but it does 80 TPI I'm not sure what 80 TPI would do but uh, there we go so it's, it's off centre from the hole but that doesn't really matter all that matters is there's a piece of steel in there which is robust and we'll take the strain now when I measured the original plate, the original gearbox, it was 0.433, the new, this new plate is 0.155 so I worked out it needed a spacer of 0.259 I think it was, 258, this turned out 254 in the centre here, but I've just measured the two plates together and it works out at 0.414 so I'm missing 19,000 somewhere I haven't measured it with a micrometer yet but I'm definitely missing 19,000 somewhere don't know where it's gone but it has gone somewhere so I might be making a brass shim to put underneath this just to space it out not be a problem okay the plate is in a position, it's only held on by the dowel at the top at the moment and it's a tight fit on that dowel. All I need to do now is put the fixings in. Unfortunately I haven't got a camera mount here so I will just see if the bolts fit. Approximately, I'm trying not to shake too much. So that's that one. She's in the hole and she's going in. Next. So that's all started. I just need to tighten them up now. Amazing, I have to have the other gear. How did that happen? No, I'm shaking. That was tight. I can't wrist. Wrapped it on my life. Awesome. I've got to get in the hole. I just want to use it way too long. Upside down, back to front. 
I think it's going to end you like, leaving like my phone, leaving like my phone, and then we'll put it down there. You can't have a phone, you can't have a phone. Oh, great, get up. Shield it on. Shield it in. Done. Right. So I think what I'm going to do is push this shaft back in again. I'll try to anyway. There we go. Push that shaft back in again, obviously. I'm going to set some of my gears up I made and I'm going to try and cut the metric thread. Right, I have done the first combination which I will probably want. So, this is a standard sort of combination. We've got a 40, 80, 40. That would be the standard, standard combo. So that's a 40, that's an 80, and that's a 40. That would usually go there and engage to that, and then two outside here would be not in touch with each other. So I've compounded the 80 to the 100. Anyway, the feeler gauges are in here. That's just denoting that in between the gear, because it might look like it's touching, there is 15 thou of clearance here. And it's hard to turn. So we'll get the point, that's the point of the nut against the gear and 15 thou. It's tight but it feels good. If that was a valve clearance I'd be quite happy at that. 20 thou sort of goes in a little bit but you've got to think these nuts are a bit tapered and what have you. So we'll try another one. Let's take it out of gear. Oh, that one there. No worries. Um, yeah, that's going to go through easy because it's nowhere near. The tooth, but that one there. Yeah, easy. Yeah, no worries. About there somewhere. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. That'll be fine. It's not touching. It's 15 foul. It's a lot. Look, yeah, look how thick that is. So I might just clean it up before I start doing this. Get a shaft in. And blew it up. And then do some test threads over the first inch. And measure the TPI. The other thing is, this 100 tooth is not standard gear in, in the Holbrook lathe. And I've got the Myford gears. And I don't want to run a gear which is a different thickness against a gear. Alright, so we can see the Holbrook gears are a good eighth of an inch wider. This is the Holbrook gear. And that one there is a Myford gear. So I'm not going to run them against each other. So I need to duplicate the 8 and the 4 -ter. I don't think I'm going to need to duplicate the 20 at all, but I might do. I might just go ahead and order a 20. But anyway, for the time being, just to get myself started, I've got an 80 and a 40. That way I can duplicate the 80s and the 40s in the standard gear ratios here. And go up from that. Because these are the standard gear ratios. These correspond to the quick change gearbox, which corresponds to the lead screw. And the little changeover gear, which is inside here as well. So, they all work together the 40 and the 80 and the 20 which is quite nice and now we've got a hundred in okay so I've not got a threading tool in there I've just got a very sharp high speed steel tool in there so first of all I'm getting some TPI gauges out and these range from four down to 18, so, no, not close enough, by the time you've got to, the third thread it's looking out, fourth definitely out, fifth, sixth, yeah it's definitely out, so the 12 setting on the gearbox will not do anything. Let's go to the 13 number. And 
we'll see what that gives me. So we can continue down the shaft. Okay, I think we've got some serious amounts of light there now. <laughs> it might be completely blown out on the screen, I don't know. That's what we're looking at. Microscope. Reason why is because the magnifying glass. I was using the magnifying glass and well we're getting we're getting so smaller threads now that uh, I thought I'm going to get the, the thingy out and then I start recording on that so the microscope is recording now just changing gears start moving a thread is appearing Disengage the half nut, cut straight, and I've got to adjust the camera because the camera's not quite picking this up. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Fingers crossed. Now, when I put the thread gauge in, I'll be able to see what I'm looking for. So, we're at a point eight. I don't know what that is going to be. Blow the camera out, is it? So that's not lining up. So I should have just moved it. Yeah, that's no good. So try point seven five. So we'll change gears to the next gear because that doesn't work for any metrics. Start spinning. Engage the half knot. Get a decent centimetre of threads there. Disengage the half knot. Oh dear, get rid of some chips. And we're into the next lot now. And the camera lines up beautifully, it's coming across with it. Seven five. Yeah, that's pretty good as a point seven five, that is. No, that's very good. Definitely a point seven five thread. One hundred percent. So, what I'll do now is jot that into the position. Zoom back out again. So 
So for that particular thread, we've got a 40 top gear. The compound gear is 127 driven and uh, driving 100. And that's driving the 80 output gear. And that is in gear 13. So that's the change gearbox gear. So number 13 there is going to be 0.75. And up to now I've got... 12 TPI, which I've already got anyway, doesn't really matter. Uh, 2 millimeter, 1.75 millimeter, 1.25 millimeter, a very close but not really good 22 TPI, but it's alright for short stuff. I'm really looking for a 22 TPI, I really need one. It's lacking and it's some threads that the 22 TPI. I've got a 1 millimeter, obviously, because of 2 millimeter, it's half there. And a 0.9 here, and it's ish, not quite, because obviously it's, that's a very good 175, but it's not a very good 0.9, but it is very close. And now I can add in here to the 13, uh, 0.75, and I'm going to carry on doing that. Alright, so I've run into a few more clearance issues. I've got an 80 tooth on the top here, which won't be the final gear ratio but I'll just prove my point to get my 10 TPI thread uh, doubled the top speed to the bottom speed with a one to one ratio in here and that gives me the 10 TPI I'm looking for for cutting my lead screws so I'm happy with that the other thing I found is trying to get the 127 underneath this it will go underneath a Forte no problem but the peg will only go out, this peg here will only go out on its slot, if you see the slot there I'm sure you can, it will only go out so far so I'm going to put a little bit of a scallop in here and the other thing is the banjo doesn't go low enough when it's in this hole so I've got to put another hole lower down so I'm probably going to give myself an extra inch or two, I might bring it down, I'll keep it at least half inch above the bottom of the steel plate there. Yeah, so I'm doing that. And it also occurred to me as well that I could possibly turn the banjo upside down. Okay, so what we've got here is a very off centre bar which I've just indicated in. I've just popped a hole in into it, quarter of an inch off the centre. So I'm going to put a 4mm hole into that, pretty deep, about inch and a half deep, maybe two, yeah, about an inch and a half deep. Then I'm going to re-centre the bar so it's, so it's properly centred up. And I'm going to bore it out to a half inch and there will be half of a 4mm hole over that. Sorry, in one side of that half inch bore. And then I'm going to part them off at 60 thousandths. So they're going to be washers, 60 thousandths thick for the gearbox. It's going to, to, to space out the gears. Feed on this gear ratio and see if I get a better result. <laughs> Increase the speed. And of course, put a cut on. Twenty thousand again.
can see all I got was a tighter bird's nest so we're very close to breaking the chip now because it's it's very close now look at okay it's just a different way of doing my travel dial because I haven't got any anything now on the bed or anything so I've got the DTI depressed over a hundred thousandths and it's touching the face of the part and I've got the parting blade so it's level to the part so I want sixty thousandths so I'll come across to sixty sixty one that'll do and I'll lock down the carriage weight Sixty one and I'll get rid of this indicator. There we go. Let's see if I can make balls up of this. <laughs> Doesn't seem that thick now. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. And we'll try it at uh, normal speeds and if it doesn't work then we'll slow it down. So there's the spacer or washer, that's the VFD turning off by the way. And I don't know whether that's the side I faced, I think it is, or if that's the side I parted. So that's a good sign. Now, how close to 60,000 do we get? Zero. It was too far off, so. Hmm. 
I'm going to use 56, 3. Oh, yeah, between 56 and 57 at the perimeter. That's fine. So we should dish it a little bit. Or about 2,000, I should imagine. Six of those. Let's see what I'm going to get loaded out of an inch and a half now. I thought an inch and a half, there's no way I'm going to get these out of there. Six and a thousand very much, is it really? 